it's Kim. Uh, I had somebody ask me um, how, what happened and how much more have I done with my garden, uh, my flowers and stuff like that. So I thought I'd give you a little update because um, I had more plantings to do at the time. And so we're out front right at the moment, but I'll take you out back too um, when I get over there. But this is the front area uh, where I've got some spider plants and um, our lemon tree, which the lemons look, they're getting big. Can you see that? It's hard to see, it's very sunny out here. There's one right there. Um, they're on here, some are smaller, some are bigger, but they're we're covered in what look like limes, but they're gonna be lemons. <laughs> Anyways, this plant's doing really well. Look at the red on there. I don't remember what those are called. I've always liked them, but they're pretty, you know, I just water them every so often and it's doing good. Now we have had rain here recently. We've had quite a bit of rain. Um, my, this is my Gerber. It, the leaves are looking good. It just produced some flowers that, you know, the one, this one came off. This has yellow flowers on it, but right now the flowers are done for the moment. I'll have to cut this off, um, this dead one. But that's where that is. So let me show you out front. Okay, here's the front. Um, I want you to look here. Look at my hydrangea. It's all in bloom. Is that not beautiful? The flowers are so big. Look how big those are. They're so big. And look at the leaves that back here. It's growing some more. See, isn't that cool? Look at, yeah, it's growing. Um, I don't know if it's gonna produce any flowers. Now I wanted to take some of these off to like put in a vase, but they are on like a really woody, you can see there, this is the stem. And so I couldn't cut it, but they're, they're just beautiful. They're, now let's see, they're wet, they're kind of damp. But look, they're looking great. Now, um, I think I read on the, I have the, the little thing when I bought this, um, it tells you to deadhead it, but they're really not looking bad yet where I would want to cut them off. They really look pretty. So it's doing good. So are the weeds. So I've got to get back there with some spray and get those weeds out. Um, they're horrible around here. I did want to show you quickly this little, I got this off of Amazon. Is that not the cutest thing that welcome? I had it out for Memorial Day, and I just haven't put it up yet. I love the mason jars on it. And with the white flowers, it kind of goes with that. Um, but I had this out. Um, I had my little front area my where my um, bench is. I had that all decorated for, um, you know, for Memorial Day. Okay, here, over here in this big pot, I've got my purple stuff growing. And the, oh, what is that called? I know what it's called, but I don't remember right now. Anyways, these flowers are doing really, this is kind of like the stuff that's red over in that other pot, but this is purple variety and they like the sun. So they're doing very good. And then these little things, they kind of, they're, they're fun. <laughs> and I did purple with the green because purple and green go really good together. So um, that's how that's going. I have a little pot here. It got kind of, um, it's got the white flowers over here it did have you know it's fixing to bloom more um it's just in the middle of um re you know re-blooming and such over here my other gerber um, we don't have any flowers on it right now it just produced some so it's going to recycle and i'll get more of them um this is that impatient that takes sun look how good it's doing i potted it in this pot and it gets plenty of sun here. But look at that vibrant color fuchsia. Isn't that not gorgeous? Yeah, it's doing great. I just, you know, have to keep it watered. Um, we've had a lot of rain, so it's been getting wet. So I really don't need to add water to it right now. Um, we've had rain. Um, all the other plants are doing pretty good. These, um, oh, what is it? Oh gosh, what did I, those are lavender. We've been getting so much rain. I think these more are maybe drought tolerant more so because they're not blooming as much as they were. Um, they have, you know, a little bit of a bloom there and they had one over on there, but they're, I think we've had so much rain that it's caused this to not do as well as it could. And um, the other stuff's growing though. And then these came back, the deer came and ate them, but those little 
pansies or violas or whatever they are, are still going strong after the deer ate them. Because the deer came and then, not, you know, those are my azaleas out there, but they're not blooming right now. But I was going to say, um, the deer came and they pretty much ate all of this, this potato vine. They ate it all up, yeah, and um, but it's growing back now, so <laughs> it's going. I wanted it to go down this way, but it's kind of going back up there and then down there. But anyways, I'm just this is this is my favorite thing. I'm just so tickled pink by it. Anyways, I'll take you out back now. There's Braxton. Say hi. Hi, Braxton. Hello, baby. Oh, we're not going in quite yet. We're not going to go in yet. We're not going in yet. There's my new um, mat. We put that out for Amy's uh, graduation party, which I did not get filmed. I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, over here, let's go out back here. You can see some of the stuff I have potted back here, but here are some kind of um, pinky impatience, and they're doing great. They're happy, happy, happy. So I keep them well watered. Are you giving me kisses, baby? You are giving me kisses, aren't you? You giving me kisses? Yeah, give me kisses, kisses, kisses. I know you said you cutie pie. Okay, so that's there over here in this little area. My um, this Gerber's doing fantastic. Uh. It's really going strong. These are blooming here in this pot. I stuck a pot here. It has some impatience. And then these, whatever these are called. But they're happy at the moment. I've got um, society garlic in here. It's blooming. That's another thing like out front. Um, the red. This is more of a pinky. And it's gotten a lot of water. So it's not looking as good as it could. Um, and doesn't get as much sun out here. Oh, this is hanging on. Um, I have the worst trouble with this kind of a plant. Um, I did feed it, but it's been getting too much sun also, uh, or too much rain. We've just had quite a bit of rain. Um, I pulled this out back. Um, it was sitting out front, but it's now blooming quite a bit more. But it's got a lot of, um, it's like a second year plant. I had this last year, um, and it's got a lot of leaves that have problems and stuff. So I don't know. Um, I was watching a video and they said something about like when they're, when they're growing these, if they have any kind of bad leaf like this, they take it off, they throw that away. But they also, during the growing process to have good growth with all the leaves, they take off all, all the flowers. Of course, mine's a plant I already have. So I don't know if I take off all the bad leaves and then take off all the flowers, it helped me get better growth of the leaving leaves, the leaves and then the flowers and I, it would look more pretty. You know what I mean? Right now, it, you know, has things on it that need to be picked. So it's not doing the best at the moment. Um, but I moved it back out here because this type of plant, it, 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 it leads sun. And actually it's quite drought, drought tolerant. I did find that out. Anyways, I'll have to trim that and put that in the thing. Um, my ferns are doing really well. I got one down here on the ground. Um, the wind has been bad too with the storm so but look how pretty that is it's looking fantastic that's my one from last year uh this is a new one here um, but this usually hangs right in here but right now i've got it sitting down here because um it was the wind was blowing it too bad and i've got a little um i got this from my my husband's um mother-in-law gave all of us the this little plant and it's doing good um for for mother's day but let me show you over here by the pool i planted a new day lily and look how it's blooming this one's yellow it's so cute and then this is also again another lavender thing and it's not doing so hot because it doesn't like all this rain we've had but these look good they're blooming well it's a, it's a type of impatient, I think, these are. And then you got these, and then the white here. And, of course, we had our our party, so I still have an Aggie flag out here. I'm sorry, I just didn't get a chance to film it. We were so busy. 
Um, so here's more of my society garlic. I've had this in here a long, long time. Um, I've got more flowers here in this pot. Look at those pretty pink. So this is, I got pink in here. This one's all pink. Um, but you can see where this is, um, had some flowers, but obviously we've had, everything's been affected by the sheer amount of rain we've had because we've had quite a bit of rain. And my rose bush, it's growing. Look, at it's got a big growth spot here, over there. It's really growing. Um, it's, it's called a knockout rose. I probably couldn't grow any other kind. <laughs> I don't think I'd have much luck with roses. And then over here, let me get around here. On the other side of the pool, I've got two other daylilies here um, that just bloomed. So they'll regenerate more blooms, but not today. And then I have these over here. This color is kind of a, a deep red. Um, it's pretty. Makes me think of my mom. She, uh, she loved red. Red was her color. Um, but there's the pool. It needs to be cleaned. Pine, pine needles from the other day. And then I don't know if you can see here. I finally decorated out here. And we did it for the party. Um, our furniture set that we have over here. And I don't have my pillows out here because it was all wet. So I do have pillows that go on here too. But it looks nice over here. I think I got that rug off of Amazon, I think. Um, and then I picked that up at Walmart, this um, lantern. And that's just a fake plant I've had for years. But anyways, I just wanted to give you a little update on uh, all the all the plants and everything's looking good so far so good i mean like i said we've had rain that caused a lot of our problem uh, with a lot of the plants but otherwise everything's looking pretty good so i'll leave you with that and i'll catch up with you later love y'all bye